Hello, strong people. Week, whatever, day, whatever, because I'm not on program yet. But I did get my program for next week, so I'm excited about that. It looks very similar to um, to last prep, you know, just because, I mean, it's similar, similar events for the most part. So, um, you know, log press, axle, yoke, yoke in place of farmers so, or frame. Um, and then whatever the fourth event's going to be. Um, we're banking on steeplechase, as I said. My coach was thinking maybe I'm like a Husafo carry max distance, which that'd be cool. Um, but I don't know. He also, he has me doing a lot of loading. So he, he already, we didn't even talk about it. He already has me in mind, you know, doing loading work because there's usually stones in the final. Um, so I do have stones next week. It says nothing crazy. And then like after that, it's like sandbag or whatever type of loads after that. But, um, Today we're just going to do some pressing. So I'm going to do, I have incline log programmed. Uh, that'll start next week. But I'm going to do some uh, just regular little barbell incline again today just because I liked it last week. So that's all I'm going to do today. And then probably some more back stuff because your back and triceps can never be too strong. I say back and triceps because I'm also going to do some tricep ext extensions on this probably as well. So that's the plan. Just going to do three exercises probably. Um, I'll probably do something very similar to what I did last week on this and just pyramid up to a top set. Maybe I'll do doubles today. Um, the triples last week, maybe we'll do doubles today, see what we get up to. And then i got to go run some errands. This being on vacation thing and not actually going anywhere for vacation is so nice. I have so much time to do whatever. So I'm just going to have some fun and enjoy my lift and see what we get up to. So let's we'll see what happens. All right, um, so that didn't go, it actually went better than I thought, but not, well, I'll just say it this way. I misloaded that. Um, I was doing 10 pound jumps, or 10 per side, 20 pound jumps, whatever you, however you want to say it. Um, and uh, last week when I did that, I only used 10s, so, you know, I wasn't thinking about it too much, but... Today, I was like, I'm going to go a little bit heavier because I'm hitting doubles. You know, one less rep than I did last week. So I should be able to add more weight. Um, so when I went from three, what would have been 355 to what I thought was 375, um, I put on a 25, I took off the 10s, put on 25, got me to 365. And then instead of putting a five on each side to get me to 375, which I intended to do, I just put a 10 on each side. So instead of 375, I had 385. Um, and then I was like, well, that felt good enough to go up, I think. So we'll do one more set. If that feels good, then I wasn't going to go to four plates. And um, without thinking, uh, I literally remember, I, I realized at the last second that what I actually had on there was 405. I had three plates plus the 25, 365, plus a 10, 385, plus another 10, 405. I realized literally, two, I was like, I should double check the weights just to be sure because I'm just like, you know, not really into it, into it. So I'm making sure that I didn't forget to put a plate on or something. And when I was doing that, 
that's when I realized that I had 405 on. I was like, it's loaded, the video's going, music's going, let's just do it. And that moved way better than 385, probably because I knew I had to wake up for it. You know, it wasn't like I could do that, you know, in my sleep. It was, I had to wake up and flick it on a little bit for that. Not on, on, but like, I had, I, I had to be awake for that. So, 405 for a double, that is a PR on just regular old incline bench. Um, I'm realizing I'm a much better log military, log high incline presser. I am with a barbell. Um, I think I'd attribute that to the log being higher off my chest. Um, I can get it, you know, through my sticking point a little bit easier, but <laughs> but not that much better. I think I could hit that for a triple if I wanted to. I finished the second rep and I thought about it and I was like, nah, I don't know, don't push it. You've already you've already done ten more pounds than you thought you were doing, so let's just take the small win and move on. So. I've never done 405 for a double. I've never even done 405 on incline on a barbell anyway. Yeah. I did 405 on an axle incline, which is pretty cool. But I don't use straight bar, regular power bar enough to know what my numbers are, I guess. I rarely, I rarely use a power bar, so. That felt good. I'm happy with that. Um, now I'm just gonna move on and do some accessories. All right, so this is all, this is kind of a different variation of my overhead tricep extensions that I like to do. I've been using the machine instead, just because I like it. Um, this variation is pretty hard though. What if I? Nah, I can't fit like that. We'll just do it this way. This is difficult though. I think this I think this is bent. I think it's bent. Hold on. There we go. I forgot I had this one. This bar came with the machine when I bought it, so it feels a little bit sturdier, a little bit better. That thing, scary. All right, let's do some triceps. In case you're wondering, I did hit my head on that one rep. <coughs> it's kind of hot out today. Not as hot as it would be over there in the shed, but it's warm. I'm definitely feeling better. I wouldn't say I'm back to 100% yet after the cold, but this one kind of kicked my butt. I feel like my colds don't usually last this long, but it's been. Well, almost two weeks now. When did I go to Ocean City? I wasn't. Yeah, almost two weeks. <sighs> Tomorrow is um, Strongman Corporation Nationals. I'm excited to hear how it um, how it goes. Because, like, I know people going, of course, just because when you do strongman for a few years, you see a lot of the same people. Um, but I'm excited to see how it's run this year compared to um, years prior now that it's under new ownership. Now, I know James has been there for a long time, uh, just, you know, helping, doing whatever he can. He does a lot. But I'm anxious to hear how um, Lynn helps run it. Because if it's anything like the, um, the regional show two weeks ago, it's going to run stupid smooth. I mean, that was, like my buddy Josh down at 580, he runs some solid shows. Uh, my coach, Petro, he runs some great shows. Um, 
So this is, this is not a shot at them by any means, but the one last two weekends ago was by far the most efficient show I've ever been a part of. So I'm anxious to see if he can do that. Well, I know he can do it. He's done it with OSG. Um, but I've heard some bad things about OSG and how you show up really early and you don't compete for like another eight hours or whatever. Um, they're revamping that this year though, so it shouldn't be a problem. But but just to um just to kind of go into a little bit of detail about how efficient that show was two weekends ago. Um, I check my phone. I check it periodically, you know, give an update to my coach or whatever where we're at during the, uh, the comp. And um, he, all right, not, not him, but whenever I check my phone after the show on both days, it was 1.11 p.m., both days. So in total, the show was six hours, you know, from start to finish, just over six hours. Um, obviously, three hours day one, three hours day two. That's crazy efficient. I understand it's not a big show, like there weren't too many people there, but still, it was crazy efficient. It was perfect. Pro M I did was very efficient as well, almost too efficient. I sucked at the yoga, hurt myself, and before I knew it, I was out there already having to do the farmer's carry, which obviously didn't go well, but what are you going to do? Stuffy. I need to get that circus dumbbell back down to my the, uh, the guy I borrowed it from. I'm kind of hanging on to it because I want to see if there's going to be a circus dumbbell in the final or at OSG. I really doubt it. So maybe next week, uh, like Monday or Tuesday, maybe I'll take it over because I'm still on vacation then. We'll see. But that was, I'm so happy you let me train on that. If I didn't have that, I probably would have been screwed. My dumbbell would not have survived. It's over here and it's looking pretty rough. It's where I'm keeping my lantern right now. All right, I'm gonna, I waited too long in between the first two sets there, so let's do one more set and call the video after that. some water and a shower well that's kind of all there is uh, I doubt anybody in nationals is going to be watching this video but if you are good luck if you're competing I really like the events this year I'm a little bit jealous I'm not doing it but um, that last second decision to go to Maryland rather than South Carolina for nationals it paid off so obviously if I had to pick one you know if I could do it all over again without even going to like, I don't even care I can, if I went to nationals and I won nationals and I went to the Arnold and blah 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 I don't care I'd rather 100% go to this OSG regional again I'd rather win that and I'd rather go to OSG than the Arnold so that's just how it is. OSG's top of my bucket list and I can't believe I get to go in a few months, a couple months, a little bit over two months, I think, yeah. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more training, obviously. My usual four days a week, two press days, a deadlift day, and an event day. And that's what we will be doing for the foreseeable future, so. If you like it, you know, if you like strongman or you want to learn more about it, stick around. 
Hope you hit that little subscribe button. We're like five off 700, which is insane. I, I couldn't believe when I hit like 50, honestly. Still can't believe it. I still can't believe 700 is like right there. And I don't, I don't usually tell you guys to subscribe or like the video or comment or whatever. But, you know, if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. That's fine. I'm going to make the video anyway. So, I like looking back at these. You know, if I want to be reminded what I did in training, I have everything I've ever done for the last, like, two years or last year. However long I've been doing this. So, it's all here. It's like a, a diary. So, I'm going to keep doing it. I enjoy doing this. So, if you like it. Stick around. If not, that's okay. So, until next time, go out, get strong, stay strong, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.